We are out in the mountains here because we are going to be creating a cinematic short film with some really cool and unique ideas. We have a couple of crazy setups that we're going to go through. All of this crazy gear that you see right here to build out a full cinema rig is from a company called Small Rig and I'm going to be showing you guys how we use this to actually pull off the video that we're going to be doing today. We're going to take you for a whole behind the scenes process and bring you along for a step by step of how we're going to pull this off and then towards the end of the video we are going to show you the final edit that we were actually able to create and show you the result of everything that we're capturing. The concept for the video is that Hannah's going to be running around at night and then she kind of falls back into a swimming pool and then when she comes out of the swimming pool it's daytime and we have some really crazy little things that we're gonna do while we filming that like rough outline so I'm excited to show you guys how we're gonna pull it off for right now I'm gonna be shooting on just this cage from small rig you can see how it just is a nice cage for your camera it's got a top handle and then I'm gonna build it out onto here a little bit later when I want to get different style shots for this scene in particular I am wanting to shoot handheld and on this little rig because I want to introduce some of the shake into my shots. I want it to be a bit chaotic, especially when Hannah is running around at night time. And for, for that reason, I don't want to have it all really smooth and on a gimbal. Going in a backwards order, we're going to start shooting now up at the swimming pool. It's so crazy with this view and everything in the background. And for just our very first shot, and the only shot that isn't going to use the rig, we're going to have to use the underwater housing because Basically what we're gonna be doing is Hannah's gonna fall in the dark. She's gonna do like a fall like that And then we're gonna cut it to being underwater and we're gonna get a shot of her falling in the water We're gonna stitch them together in the edit and then that's gonna be the transition from like night to day Okay, we have a slight problem the water isn't clear enough to see Hannah like falling into it so we can't get that shot that we want. We're gonna have to get that shot in particular somewhere else and we can cut it in, no one will ever know the difference. So we're just gonna get a shot of Hannah actually coming out of the water now with the small rig handle and the cage so that it's kind of like nice and organically feeling. It's not too smooth on the gimbal. The last shot that we need here is just of Hannah picking up that lantern. So we're gonna have it from here, it's gonna cut it together and help with the continuity. That should be perfect, that's everything we need by the pool. We're gonna head back there and start getting like some walking stuff in the actual rock. This is our next location, we're gonna have Hannah running on the rocks here. And something that I love about this cinematic rig and the way that you can set it up is that now that I'm done with these kind of shots, I want to get a little bit more stability in my shots because for the daytime stuff, I'm going to keep it kind of smooth and not like too all over the place. And then when we get to the nighttime, I'm going to do a lot more like jerky stuff. But for now, I can literally just clip this in here, which is really nice and easy, tighten it down. And now we have a nice rig and you guys can take this thing to like such a level. We have this really cool math box that we can put on the front I'm not gonna do it right now because we're not gonna need ND filters the light is really low but you can build this thing out as much as you want we got to follow focus on the side here it's pretty crazy the setup that we're gonna have it in right now I can still use it like this if I want and it's gonna give me the extra stability and like control it's not gonna get any micro jitter because of all my weight and I can also shoot in the shoulder mount like this I've had it set up before with a monitor over here and you can pull focus it's really really nice for this one, we very run and gun, so I'm gonna keep it like this. I just wanted to mention quickly, the shots that we got before, because of how we're gonna cut them with this scene, we're gonna have Hannah coming up onto that really cool like pointy rock. So we're gonna mirror the shots that we got in the first pool scene, because we want everything going right to left for the daytime stuff. And then when we film the nighttime stuff, we're gonna go left to right, and they're gonna be like opposites to each other, which is gonna have a cool effect. So those ones are gonna be mirrored, and from now on for the daytime stuff, we're going right to left, everything of Hannah moving in that direction. We're gonna shoot our next scene now. Shame that it's freezing. But we just need a couple of shots right here with this background of Hannah kind of walking along here, and then we're gonna to have to wait till actual night time. I 
I'm gonna get one or two shots just of the surrounding area here to show that it's like daytime, the sun's hitting the mountains and everything. Nice establishing shots and cutaway shots. I can use them in between the shots of Hannah. Okay. Everything is looking so nice with this light. With the white dress like pops out of the rock so much, it's so contrasty. Um, something I'm really liking about this is rather than having it up on my shoulder, which does work nice, but for a lot of this I want to be slightly lower. And actually like pushing it into your chest works so well. You can keep it really nice and stable and you have that like pushed up on there. We don't need too much more of this. Maybe let's get a really nice big wide of Hannah going across this rock pot. Leading up to the last shots of this one is gonna be Hannah walking up here and getting to the top of this like Lion King pride rock style thing. And then I'm gonna get some really nice long shots of her up there and that's where the scene's gonna end. Okay, this is a little bit confusing, so just bear with me. Basically what we have to do is, the actual end scene, the lantern is gonna relight itself, which we're gonna do now, and then Hannah's gonna walk back down, going the opposite direction, not right to left anymore, left to right, and we're gonna get that one shot now, which is gonna be the final, final shot. Then Hannah's gonna come back down, and just because it's way too hard to film her up there if I want to be up there with her. We're just getting a bit of a fake shot here. We're pretending that Hannah's still on that same rock, but because I want to film some close-ups of her face and stuff, I can't fly around or it's gonna be really sketchy if I stand on the edge there. So I can stand here now and get close-ups of Hannah's face. It's still the same background. There's not gonna be anything else around it. I'll just look up a bit. This video is looking a lot more spooky than I like kind of anticipated. And then yeah, we haven't even got to the like creepy. nighttime stuff yet. So I think we're gonna have to put some music on to make it not like too creepy. I think that will change it. The final shot that we're gonna need before the actual nighttime shots is the lantern is gonna like light itself at the end of the video again. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna shoot a close up of it being lit already and then turn it off. And then when we're editing it, we're gonna reverse it that is super sick. I think those are all of the shots that we're gonna need until the actual night stuff. So now we're gonna have to wait till midnight tonight, which is when the moon rises and this whole place is gonna be lit up by the moon and we're gonna shoot the rest of the scene, which is gonna happen first in the final video. So that's it for now. We're gonna go chill. We waited up till midnight and there was clouds everywhere blocking the moon. So it's two o'clock now and the moon is out from the clouds. We're gonna shoot our little beginning scene to the cinematic section. It is very dark. The, light, the moon is not lighting it up as much as we had have hoped. We have these extra little panel lights like this one and the one that Hannah's holding. And then I'm hoping with the lantern lighting up Hannah herself, we should have enough light. I'm gonna be shooting with just the cage rig like this, handheld, because I want it to be quite tight and moving around. Um, I have a 50 millimeter 1.8 on here, just so I can get some good low light, and hopefully it should be cool. lantern to kind of light up Hannah's face and like show her face in the scene. I don't want it to be like too spooky and weird. So I think by showing Hannah's face and her not being all creepy, we can get like some nicer stuff just to make it not too like spooky and like horror movie style. So everything for this, I'm not shooting in a higher frame rate. I'm keeping it normal speed. I don't want it to be slow-mo at all. I want it to look a little bit like shaky and jerky and then the daytime stuff is going to be like a lot smoother using some slow motion so this one i'm kind of like whipping the camera around like this and moving it around for this next scene we're going to get the falling part so we've collected all of these pillows and we're going to put them on the ground nicely and i'm going to film like facing up a little bit so that you don't see the ground, like Hannah could be as high as your imagination thinks she might be. And then she's gonna fall back like that and we're gonna cut that to the one of falling into the swimming pool. So basically, you're not gonna see the pillows. As she hits the pillows, she's actually gonna be into water. 
I think that's gonna be it. That is all of the shots that we need. We can finally go to bed. <laughs> it's the next morning. We are done with the shoot. We've got everything we need, hopefully. Had a lot of fun making it. It was definitely challenging shooting at night and like in the different scenarios. But I think what we were able to capture turned out really nice. So let's have a look at the final video, the edited finished one and see what you guys think. That was it, I hope you guys thought it was cool. Remember that if you wanna find out anything more about the awesome rigs you can build and all of these different little components, you can check out Small Rig. They are gonna be linked in the top of my description. You can build out different kits depending on what you're wanting it for and you can get it all tailored to specific different cameras. They really are cool, really nice, high quality stuff, so go and check them out. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh,